The important point is that facts are not everything that there is. And I'm going to use an analogy. Please forgive me for this, but I, 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 I'm, m m many of my analogies and examples are from um, medical profession, MDs. And this one is from uh, people who are, who are trying to be MDs. And this happened last January when I was interviewing um, for the University of Toronto uh, Medical School. So we all, you know, in, in groups of us, uh, we met candidates uh, for medical school and people who wanted to be medical students. And I thought, you know, we're going to try, I'm going to try and see if they have, um, as it were, interpersonal skills, communication skills. And as I'm, I'm building up to this, um, I, I wanted to see whether they knew how to uh, respond to emotion. That's, that's the dark matter of which I speak. And I, 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 at the end of each interview, I said to the uh, candidate medical student, now, um, I, I want you just to we'll just try a little bit of a, of a communication. I want you to imagine that I'm a man that you've met in ER and in the emergency room, and I had a chest pain, and you've done an ECG, and it shows a very small um, inferior myocardial infarct. So you're not actually worried uh, that I'm actually going to die of this heart attack. And you say to me, uh, I'm, uh, the ECG shows, I'm sorry to tell you, you've had a small heart attack. And the patient goes, heart attack! Oh, no, that's terrible. Okay? Now, I want you, I said to the candidate, I want you to respond in a way that shows me, the patient, that you have seen one, at least, of the emotions that I'm experiencing, that you realize the cause of the emotion, and then you respond in a way that shows me, as the patient, that you've made that connection. So I said, okay, do it now. You know, oh, no, that's terrible. And, you know, most of the candidates said, oh, that's obviously a terrible shock or uh, that, that must feel awful or something like that. One of the medical students, uh, when I said, oh, no, a heart attack, that's terrible, she leant forward and she said, I did say it was a small heart attack, you know. <laughs> Not, it was factually correct. She had said it was a small heart attack but she'd missed the dark matter in that, in that uh, interview. I asked her to acknowledge emotion. Now, this is a really important thing. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not ridiculing this uh, candidate medical student at all, because I said to her, I said, factually, you were absolutely correct. You did indeed tell me, as the patient, it was a small heart attack. But I asked you to acknowledge one of the emotions that the patient was experiencing. And to tell me uh, that you knew the cause, you realized the cause, um, and that you, you, you'd made the connection between the two. That's an empathic response, as you're gonna see in a moment. And this is like four seconds later. Uh, I said, okay, I'll do it again. A heart attack, oh no, that's terrible. She said, uh, that must be a terrible shock for you. Bingo. She'd learned the empathic response in four seconds. And this is my important, this is the important point that a lot of the people who go into the uh, professions may actually be, as it were, used to ignoring emotions in communications. It, it, it's something that may be, it may be selected or it may be taught. You may actually learn it um, in medical school, in pharmacy school, in nursing school, in, 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 you know, in actually less in nursing colleges uh, than in most. And actually, in, in nursing colleges, um, they actually usually are far, far better um, at empathic responses than in medical school. But, but by the time you come to be um, a medical student or a physician, very often that, that ability to respond to an emotion, to respond to an emotion, not to feel it, to respond to an emotion has actually been beaten out of you.